In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can create infinite grid animation in Adobe After Effects using just stock plugins. So create a new composition, feel free to use your own setting, then you hit OK. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. Any color will do here, make comp size and then hit OK. Duplicate this solid layer. Go to effect and preset and add the grid effect. Set the size from height and width. Change the width and height to 100 by 100. Toggle your timeline and make this a 3D layer. Hit R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation. We're going to rotate this on the X axis. Now go back to the effects and preset and add the motion tile. On the motion tiles, we're going to set the output width and the output height to 500 each. Select the first solid layer below. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Then you move it up above everything. Then you select the rectangle tool. We're going to pull in to mask the upper part like this. Hit F on your keyboard to reveal the feather and set the feather to 110. Fit this back to preview so that we can see the level of our feather. Then we're going to toggle back this timeline again. Then select this one, go to the track mat and set it to alpha inverted. That is going to give you this infinite look. So that way, even if you change the color of the background, everything is still going to remain the same. To animate this, we're going to go to the motion tile and set a keyframe for the tile center. Then we'll pick the tiling and then put it somewhere around here. Then move to the end of the keyframe, uh, move to the end of the composition timeline, then select the motion center again and put it somewhere around here. That is going to move it up and down. If you want it left to right, you also do it the same way. So if you preview this now, this is what you're going to have. From here, you can go into the grid settings and then change the color of the grid, the thickness of the grid. All these settings are flexible. Feel free to play around with it. You can also change the background and then have something different from what you have. This is only but a guide. And this is how you can create an infinite grid animation in Adobe After Effects using the stock plugin right here. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.